Hey, welcome back to another G Auto Repair YouTube video. And today we are working on this 2011 Buick Enclave. And uh, I just wanted to do a brief video on something that I just learned. And uh, I was going to do some spark plugs and whatnot. So when I pulled one of the spark plugs, I noticed it was uh, full of oil. Most of the time when you see that, you say, okay, it just needs valve cover gaskets and the, the oil uh, or in the spark plug tube seals, which are around here on the top. You uh, pop some new ones in and that takes care of that. But no, if you see that on one of these cars, stop real quick and take a closer look because there's a bulletin on this. Um, like I said, this is a 2011 uh, Buick enclave and uh but it applies to chevy gmc um with a 3.6 3.0 liter engines from 2010 from what i read all the way to here recently i believe um based on what i saw on the bulletin uh but if you look down into the hole and i don't know how good you guys are going to be able to see this but the top of the spark plug tube is perfectly dry it looks like it's actually coming from way down in there you see that it looks like that's where the leak is originating from there is a bulletin the repair for this is replacing the heads and uh, uh, my guy's not gonna want to do that <laughs> so if you see this um, chances are it's probably leaking from the bottom there where the joint is you, you could probably see it right right about where the uh the 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 spark plug um is at right there at right level with uh with the spark plug uh, maybe a little further down maybe about a half an inch or an inch down you'll see that it looks like that's where the oil is originating from so uh GM says that that's a, poro uh, a porosity problem uh, during manufacturing and you're supposed to replace the heads now. How much of that is accurate? That's what they say. That's what I'm going to go by. So there's not much I can do here other than replacing the, um, the heads according to what they say. I don't know if there's uh, some kind of joint down there that, you know, if you, you could pull this tube out or not. I'm not sure but um they say you have to replace the heads so that's to the extent that i'm taking this to i'm gonna pause right here and talk to the customer i know he's not gonna <laughs> do no head jobs because of that um but it will probably be accompanied by misfires some misfiring uh and p o zero three hundred all the way to po 306 codes um that's what the bulletin said so because what happens is the uh the oil gets in here in the boot with a spark plug and it, it starts jumping it starts going to to ground so it, it it doesn't let the spark go to the spark plug in the combustion chamber um they also said something about coolant so i don't know if there's also a possibility that coolant can get in there they say fluid oil coolant all of those things are, are part of the of the bulletin so if you have one of these cars with a misfire and you pull out uh, spark plugs and you find that chances are you're probably gonna have a leaking uh, spark plug tube not the seal but the tube on the bottom so I hope this helped out a little bit please like and subscribe hit that thumbs up thank you all for your support and we'll see you on the next video ciao